Hello my lovelies, today I'm gonna share my spring capsule wardrobe with you and I'm really excited about this one this year and I think that is one of the benefits of doing like kind of updating your capsule wardrobe for every single season. I think it just really helps at least me stay on top of what I'm into at any given moment and it really helps me develop my personal style because I kind of take stock and evaluate so often as opposed to just creating one capsule wardrobe for the year. And I have some pieces that are completely new to this capsule wardrobe, so I'm, oh my gosh, they are amazing. And then I also have pieces that have stayed for years. So let's just get started. I have included t-shirts. I include these into every single capsule wardrobe that I put together. These are the heavyweight t-shirts from from Arquette. I also have their regular. They're nice. They're not as kind of thick so if it's quite warm you might want to go for that but these are so so good. I have them in I think four or five different colors. I have duplicates. They just hang so beautifully. The fabric is a little bit thicker and I just find that they keep their shape so much better than most of my other t-shirts. I've also bought one or two from Cos. They're also really good. I really really recommend them and I'm getting like everyone in my life onto these t-shirts. I only wish they made them in more different kind of silhouettes and like a v-neck and things like that but maybe they will one day. I would also include into the kind of t-shirt tops category something like this. This is just a racerback tank top. I have a black one as well. It's in the wash. Mm. But mainly it's just to have a little bit of variety in the silhouette. So this one is obviously more fitted. We're gonna try to get through this a little bit quickly. I always say that and I never manage to. But we're gonna talk about two pieces at a time where we can. So I have shirts and first of all I have this super basic white cotton button-up shirt. It's definitely not too oversized so it's just versatile enough to work with lots of the other things in my wardrobe. And I would say if you think this is a little bit too boring, I do also have shirts that have sort of more interesting details. You can have just some like a difference on the collar or some crochet detail or anything, something on the hand, something on the sleeve, the cuff, whatever, can really dress these up and make them less boring if you're finding it just a little bit too dreary. But then I also have this satin blouse and I love this for something that is a little bit more dressed up when I feel like the white cotton is a little bit too stiff or too boring. This is just such a great option. It obviously has a completely different drape and the sort of semi-sheen to it is just really nice. It's dressing up outfits but it also works fantastic with jeans so it's a very very versatile piece. I can't escape the knitwear quite yet so I have two knitwear pieces in my castle wardrobe as well. This is in merino wool so it's really nice and light and obviously breathable. It's not too warm, but it's definitely great because we have a lot of mornings still that start out like two or three degrees. It's definitely not warm and it's great to have something that is not too bulky, not too heavy, but still giving a little bit of warmth. And I feel like I always include at least one cardigan into all of my spring capsule wardrobes. It's just a beautiful, fantastic, practical layering piece. If you have seen any of my capsule wardrobes before, you will have seen this one. I bought this years ago and I still just love it. So it's this striped knit jumper. It looks a little bit heavy perhaps, but it is in cotton. So even though it's a substantial knit. It's definitely not as finely knit as this grey one. It's not too warm. I always pull this out for spring and stripes just make me happy. They just feel very very spring and I think for a capsule wardrobe it's really fun to have one or two pieces with a little bit of print. And as a little side note, I obviously don't store these clothes on a hanger, it's just for the video because otherwise it's very difficult to show them. But otherwise, never hang your knitwear. It will shorten its life by a lot. Let's move on to bottoms and we are going to jeans. I have an on and off relationship with jeans. I'm obviously clearly in the love phase at the moment. So first I have a pair of light wash denim jeans. I try to really include this for my spring capsule wardrobes. There is just something about light denim that feels very sort of, it's almost like it's, it's just pulling the warmer brighter, lighter season out. And they're just very, very simple, plain. They have no kind of, 
distressing, no extra details. It just makes it so much easier to put together outfits. Unless I'm very into a particular style, I try to go for things that aren't too kind of one way or the other. But I also have a newer style. I bought this, I think in the fall time. They're a straight leg, very kind of simple. They have a tiny bit of a whiskering, but I feel like it's not super noticeable when I'm wearing them. And my favorite thing about these jeans, they are so comfortable. They have a little bit of stretch in them. Let me see if I can show that. You can see it's not a ton. It's not like jeggings. And these are the kind of jeans I can wear to the office, sit in for eight hours. It's fine because they have that little bit of stretch that just makes them so comfortable when you're kind of like bending over, sitting down. Sometimes jeans can just be a little bit torturous, but these never are. And I had to kind of stop myself because in the back of my head, I have this thought. They're kind of like dark gray. They're much more fall and winter-y to me. I kind of felt like I should put them away and just wear the light wash denim instead. But I had to just stop myself from making up these silly rules for my own capsule wardrobe. I can make whatever rules I want. I can put in whatever I want. And I really, really into wearing these. I'm definitely going to keep wearing them. And when I'm being perfectly honest, I think I'm going to wear these more than these. So it would be so silly to just arbitrarily put them out of my capsule wardrobe because they don't belong in spring. That's so silly and I'm super into wearing grey. Love them, so obviously they had to stay. I also included a pair of tailored trousers as I tend to always do in my capsule wardrobes. They just, they're really comfortable. They dress up all my other things. They are really versatile and super practical for my lifestyle as well. And I was kind of debating adding a gray pair, but since I already had the gray jeans, I wanted to add in this lighter pair because this is something I'm so excited to start wearing for spring. And I will say, I don't think H&M has like the highest quality trousers or anything, but they are one of the very, very few who can manage to put an elasticated waistband in the back. It just creates so much more comfort for these trousers. And just a tip, if you also love to add light or particularly white colors for your capsule wardrobes, you can very easily add five or six white pieces into your capsule wardrobe and then realize that none of them actually look good together because there is so much to the shades and undertones to it. So I like to kind of just especially if you also hang them up like this, just kind of glide it over, have a little bit of a look to see if it does work together. The final bottom piece I have in my capsule wardrobe is a maxi skirt. I really like these because they have a little bit of that sheen. It's not super shiny, so it's not like it's going to be overly dressy. I can still dress this down, especially with something like the striped top as well. And I really love it. It's so comfortable. And I do think a maxi length is just perfect for spring. And I often feel like instead of just pulling on a pair of sweatpants, I can just wear this instead. Looks great. Okay, let's talk dresses. Or in this case, a dress. So I really only have one dress that I felt like it was worthy. This is a new dress that I bought from H&M and it's so beautiful. It has kind of that embroidered cutout detail on the sleeve and also on the hem. It's fantastic. It's cotton and obviously as you can see white and for me a white cotton dress is just the epitome of spring. It always makes me so so happy but I am kind of open to adding maybe one more dress. I probably don't need two because as soon as we're moving into later spring I can wear my shorter dresses but if I find another dress that really just makes me happy, then I might add that into my capsule wardrobe as well. Definitely the weakest part of the capsule wardrobe this year, I think, even though this is definitely one of my favorite pieces in it. So there we are. We're moving into the final category, the layering pieces. It's so nice to be out of winter where I have to lay wool on wool on wool. And finally I can get into my favorite kinds of layering pieces again. So I have, first of all, an oversized blazer. And as you can see, it's not super oversized. Again, I'm not going with extremes, but it's really great because I can still layer it over some of the thicker pieces that I have. And I added one in black because I often like to add a little bit of contrast to my outfits. I do also have lighter layering pieces. In fact, all the others are. I just think that because the 
entire capsule wardrobe is mostly so light. I really see myself mostly reaching for this as a layering blazer. The next layering piece I have is a white piece. It's a white tweed jacket and if you saw my hauls last year, you might have seen I tried really hard to find a tweed jacket that I love, that fit me and would hang right and I just didn't and I decided to make one instead. So this has been my spring sewing project. I really wanted a white tweed jacket. It's definitely not the most practical or the most versatile but it's kind of in the category of the pieces in my capsule wardrobe that are more for fun and dressing up the other basics. I shared some of the making of it over on Instagram as well. I'm having so much fun getting back into sewing. The next layering piece is something that I am super, super excited about. I looked at this for, I wanna say probably two months, at least one month, and I just think it looked so, so cool. It is a maxi length, I wanna say coat, but it's not warm. This is like a blazer that is just lengthened and again it's in my new favorite color gray and it just layers so well over all of these because it is a little bit more on the oversized side and when I added this I kind of thought of it as an alternative to adding another lighter colored blazer. The length and the look is completely different so it just adds something very different to the capsule wardrobe instead of just the same in a different color. I hope that makes sense. A really, really cool layering option for spring. And before I kind of hang this away, I want to share my last layering option because I feel like this one makes even more sense. Because I obviously, 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 to nobody's surprise, I have my trench coat and I've shown this one I feel like a thousand times before. It's an oversized trench coat from And Other Stories. I've had it for a few years. I wear it a lot. Again, same as the, with the blazer because it is so oversized and just relaxed. It gives more of, well, a relaxed vibe to the outfit and just a little bit of like laid back a cool girl effect and it layers over everything beautifully. But when you look at both of these, I feel like they just make so much sense together. Silhouette wise, it's really nice to have both of these two as options. I just really wanted to show both of these together. A capsule wardrobe only really makes sense in its entirety, doesn't it? But in my wardrobe, this would be, if I only had one layering piece, a trench coat would be it. And those are all the clothes. But this year I have paid more attention to the accessories in my capsule wardrobe, which I definitely should have done before because accessories, they obviously, they make the outfit. I know this and all of these pieces I have here, if I put them together, they just look kind of flat without any accessories. So I did to put a little bit more attention into it and I definitely think it worked. So first off, let me start with one kind of small accessory. It's a belt. As soon as I discovered brown belts, which sounds like a ridiculous thing to discover but as soon as I added that to my wardrobe I became kind of obsessed with them. It just became kind of this a default setting to include it into like include one brown belt into my spring capsule wardrobe. It just is a little bit hard to get by with only one belt but just adding at least two different belt colors into a capsule wardrobe makes everything so much easier because how else will I create cohesive outfits with the rest of my accessories? like my handbags. So I have my APC Grace handbag that I included into my capsule wardrobe. I really wanted a black handbag because some outfits I just think look better with black accessories. So I made sure that I had a black belt, a black bag and black shoes. I don't necessarily need to wear all of them together in an outfit, but it's really very, very practical to have the option to do so. I think this one also just works so well for a capsule wardrobe because it is so basic and plain but it still kind of elevates an outfit without being too much. But I really wanted to include at least one handbag that felt very sort of spring-like because I just find that it's one of the easiest ways if you feel like the outfit is not really feeling like spring, then your bag can so easily do this. The next bag I wanted to include was technically a brown leather tote bag and I'm just having the worst time trying to decide on a style or a brand or anything. Anyways, in the meantime, I came across this tote bag from H&M. This one was just too cool. I loved it so, so much. It's obviously very much inspired by the YSL. I even actually like the leather color of this one better because it has that dark brown. Is it the most practical? No. Is it one of the coolest things? Absolutely, yes. It's sold out, I wanna say like the day after I bought it. So I'm not sure if they have restocked it. I will link it. But 
because a tote bag is something I wear a lot, I knew I wanted something that was a little bit spring themed. The first pair of shoes I'm gonna include my Veja sneakers, love these, I bought them last year. A pair of white sneakers is definitely always included into my spring capsule wardrobe. White sneakers just always scream, we're moving into the better part of the year. And then I also have a pair of loafers, obviously for something that is a little bit more dressed up if the sneakers feel a little bit casual. I love having these in this light beige color. These are from another stories from a couple of years ago. And then I have two pairs of mule heels. I have these. They're definitely a sandal, not something that is quite worn out yet. It's still a little bit too cool, but they're definitely sort of being incorporated into my spring wardrobe throughout the season. So I'm trying to add things that can be worn for most of the season, but it's it's difficult because it's so, so transitional. And then I have a pair of black mules as well, and these are definitely much more now suitable. So as you can see here, I bought these from H&M recently and they are actually leather. I have to kind of put my foot down, no pun intended, when it comes to footwear because faux leather footwear is just too uncomfortable for me to wear but H&M are much better about having real leather footwear as opposed to their handbags which are mostly faux leather but I just really really liked the shape of these the what do you even call this not cut out but the shape and the heel is very very sensible I'm loving that the kitten heel is just really coming back and making all of our lives a little bit easier. I think if I were to add also a flat black option, I might do a black ballet flat. And I find that if you're going to do trends, footwear is not the worst place to do it because we tend to, at least I tend to wear out my footwear much more quickly than I do a lot of the other items in my wardrobe. So I have to kind of switch them out anyways. So if I'm going to do that, it's it doesn't feel as wasteful to jump on trends, if that makes sense. I have another pair of heels and I've usually tried to be quite minimal with my footwear when it comes to my capsule wardrobes, but this year I have tried to be a little less strict about it. And I'm really loving the kind of Bordeaux trend that is going on at the moment. I bought these back in January. I really, really love them. I love that they're adding just a hint of color. I'm trying to include into my capsule wardrobes also things that feel less versatile, less practical, less kind of basic and things that are purely kind of just for the fun and for adding a little bit of personality into my wardrobe. The final thing on accessories, I always like to add a pair of sunglasses that feel kind of spring-like. I love the little ombre effect on these ones. And as you can tell from the hardware on the handbags and the shoes and also what I am wearing, I do really prefer gold jewelry. I always add some of it. I like some chunky statement jewelry to really easily dress up my capsule wardrobe outfits without having to think too much. Really chunky jewelry can do so much for kind of elevating an outfit and creating interest without spending too much time trying to make it all work together or layer or just faff around for too long, trying to make the different accessories kind of work together. This is very easy. With that, we are finally through my entire capsule wardrobe. If you're watching this video, I am assuming you're also putting together your spring capsule wardrobe at the moment. So I hope you're having a lot of fun doing that. If you want to see more on capsule wardrobes, I do have an entire playlist that I will link. I will see you very shortly in the next video. Bye.